Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on look at the PhotoFrame home security camera. This is a spy or hidden camera disguised in the form of a regular photo frame. It's not a digital photo frame, so you still have to supply, let's say, your own photo or use the templates that they give you. But uh, it does have these hidden cameras embedded on the sides in addition to this shockingly complex array of UV, uh, nighttime illuminated lights, which are used for you to see better, uh, you know, when the lights are turned off in the house. Um, it casts a monochrome chrome black and white image when there's no additional lighting, but it's quite effective uh, for day and night use. Otherwise, it is a little bit expensive. It sells for $100. It does capture 1080p HD video. Uh, with that being said, it doesn't have additional smart features, like there isn't a built-in screen, it doesn't have Wi-Fi to connect to a smartphone, you do have to manually take the photos off yourself. So for that, I think that it should have been a little bit less expensive, to be completely honest. Uh, but regardless, it could be a pretty worthwhile, uh, let's say, hidden security camera for the house if you don't want the idea of something that's more traditional looking and obvious to guests and intruders. comes in two different colors. The frame is made out of plastic, and I'm hoping that the UV lights or the infrared lights aren't as obvious as they are on this photo. Uh, maybe it's just showing you where they are, but hopefully they aren't going to be just displaced all around here because I think that is kind of a giveaway uh, in my perspective. And if you look very closely on the selling page, there's actually a statement that says that Amazon prohibits uh, spy cameras that have audio recording uh, by default. So this is actually a feature that more and more products will probably implement, having the ability to turn off audio recording by default. So a lot of these spy or hidden cameras um, will only pass through kind of Amazon security and regulations if it uh, at least claims to not have audio recording support out of the box. Uh, there is, of course, ability to turn it on yourself, but that's just something that I wanted to quickly point out. So inside the box, we do have the charging cable, which is simply using micro USB, as you can see there. And we have uh, a few kind of warnings. There's a sticker that says CCTV in operation, which kind of defeats the purpose of a hidden camera, in my opinion, but it's there. Manufacturer uh, instruction manual from uh, Combrov, which is the manufacturer here. This is the T10, and it's uh, in full color, tells you how to access the various ports and to transfer out content onto your computer. We also have a memory card reader as a bonus, so you can stick the micro SD card in there and put it onto your computer. We also have a few screws if you want to mount this onto a wall. Um, for some reason, there's also a VIP card from the manufacturer that says free software updates, priority support, and extend your warranty to 18 months. All right, so this is what it looks like, and it does have all of these uh, kind of holes on the front, which I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't. Um, but I guess to the unassuming eye, it would still look pretty convincingly like a regular photo frame. It's just maybe just for decoration, but that's actually where all of the infrared IR lights are embedded around the outside ring. Um, we also have this lanyard wrapping through, uh, not really sure why, but if we remove that, the frame here is made out of plastic. It's relatively lightweight, but otherwise it has an interesting glossy coating that's kind of sparkles. As you can see here, it is quite slim. On the back, we do have that integrated kickstand, which is actually pretty nice. So I can easily pop this out at an angle like this uh, if I wanted to use it as a real kind of display stand, or I can also hook it onto the wall on the mount on the back there. The most impressive thing is they really committed to making this truly a hidden camera because on the back there are no ports at all. If you look really closely, there's no charging mechanism, there's no me memory card slot, so everything is fully hidden and sealed away inside. The frame can be physically disassembled like this, and this is what it looks like on the inside. If we take a closer look, this is how we also can switch out the photo if I wanted to put in something else. And there's also access to the camera lens, which is right here on the side. Um, you can also see a little bit of information, and that means the paper or the photo needs to be removed before you can access some of these keys, which are in a second layer down below here, which we can then pop in the micro SD card slot. We can reset the entire thing. We can charge it using micro USB, and we can also change the mode that's recording. There is a auto kind of motion detection mode. So when it has movement that's triggered in front of it by five to 10 feet, it will automatically start recording video. There's also loop recording mode. So a lot of these features that we've seen before on action cameras and past security products are transferred over to this. And there's also additional power key and there's also the kind of auto on and off key on the side here. The buttons are a little bit small, but they're really meant just to be tapped on once. You leave it on and then you kind of forget about it or until the battery dies and then you come back to it later. In my opinion, kind of removing everything just to get to 
the storage compartment is a hassle that I think uh, might be a deal breaker to some, uh, especially at this price point of $100. All right, so next let's review some of the footage captured using this frame. Takeaway from the footage is the quality is decent, it certainly is passable, and the IR lights do work a lot better than I would expect, just because there are so many of them that they do illuminate subjects, faces, people in the dark without any problems. Um, Combrov, you know, is a manufacturer of uh, spy cams and security cameras, so they do have quite a lot of experience in here, so despite having a very small sensor, the quality is good. Um, like most security cameras, though, it will uh, perform better when you do have lots of light if you want a color image. In terms of the angle of detection for the motion sensor, uh, the camera angle, first of all, is at 75 degrees. So it is a wide angle lens, but not quite as wide as the security cam, which may have 170 degrees uh, for a really fisheye-like effect. So on here, it's only going to be about uh, kind of this wide, if you think about it, a little bit less than 90 degrees, like this. So if you are a few feet away, it's still going to be able to capture a room uh, without any problems. Uh, it also has a detection angle of 60 degrees, which uh, is down below here. This is the kind of sonic sensor, so for sound, um, it will also trigger, let's say, a detection, and it will begin recording video. It can also begin recording video if motion is detected as well using the camera. So there's two ways of uh, for it to automatically start recording uh, images and videos, which is pretty nice. In terms of battery performance, uh, I would say it actually does a little bit better than I was expecting. Over 30 hours of continuous video recording before the battery dies. It has a 225 milliamp hour capacity battery. Uh, in nighttime mode, where you have all the infrared lights turned on, the battery life is halved, so you only get about 15 hours of recording. But those are still pretty good figures. I was expecting a lot less, to be completely honest. Uh, they don't sound like a lot, but Keep this in mind, unlike a real Wi-Fi connected security camera, this one is uh, only going to be used to capture situations where there is motion detected. So if you put it into a room and you're on vacation, something like that, it will only you know, really record uh, you know, every once in a while, and once there's no more motion, it will stop recording. Granted, if having a disguised camera isn't your top priority, you're okay with a regular security cam, there are better options available, even from Combrav themselves, just because performance can be stronger with a wider field of view. Uh, you can get features like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which I think is going to be a lot more useful in the long run. Uh, but if you do want something like this, this is something to consider. You can check out more details, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Combrav Picture Frame Home Security Camera.